April Fool's Day is a time for jokes and mischief, and Clash for Hill is no stranger to this tradition. From hilariously fake update announcements to wacky gameplay changes, we're taking a look at the funniest jokes that the team at Supercell has ever pulled on their players. Yes, I made one for Clash of Clans not too long ago, but I did receive some comments about making a Clash Royale one, so here we are. I thought it'd be cool to dive into that. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Starting with the very first April Fool's prank in 2016, April 1st was just a month after Global Launch. The game was fresh out the oven, and so were the ideas the team was coming up with. First off, tombstones were given a little bit of a puff and spawned giant skeletons instead of regular skeletons, which was pretty chaotic. Mortars threw goblin barrels instead of shells, and at the time the barrels did impact damage, so you can already imagine the destruction that would cause. And the third and last prank card rework was the expo. Because it was incredibly OP at the time, Supercell thought it'd be funny to flip the card upside down and just have it shoot your own tower. Now it's perfect. Oh, look at yours. <laughs> How does that make sense? Now, unfortunately, none of these was available to the public. It was simply a modified developer build that Supercell gave YouTubers to record footage and just have fun. Yes, it was a bit of a letdown for some, but back then the game was so new, nobody gave a shit. They found it hilarious and went back to playing some good old vanilla Clash Rio. Next year in 2017, 2v2 was still a relatively new game mode exclusively for clan battles, which was an event for clans where they'd work to get crowns for a bigger chest. This was all before clan wars and all that. On April 1st, Clash Royale tweeted an even crazier version of the game mode, Sneak Peek, the future of clan battles with this picture attached. Now, you may have seen this picture a million times, it's been tossed around like the neighborhood thought because of two things. The infamous Elixir Golem tease, which had zero plans of actually being in the game, but it was eventually added two years later. And then the bear trap, which was found in the game files, but it was most likely scrapped and just added in this picture as a joke, because you know, April Fools. Anyways, back to the rest of the picture, it was just an exaggerated version of clan battles, aka 2v2. What made it even funnier is that at the time, everyone was discussing the possibility of a 3v3, 4v4, 5v5, so this was the perfect April Fools. 2018 was a much smaller one, yet pretty clever. Just a week before April Fools, Supercell announced a new card, the Barbarian Barrel, set to release the first week of April. And what better time to pull an April Fools prank on everyone, waiting for a new card. On Clash Royale social medias and in the News Royal tab in the game, there was an announcement for another card called the Barrel with supposed gameplay. Over on the Twitter side, there was full pictures of these with that link again. Now, if you know anything about April Fools, you should know that links can't be trusted. But as you may have guessed with a big yellow button that says watch gameplay, a crap ton of people clicked on it. And they all got rickrolled. <laughs> yeah, it was that easy and it worked so well because I don't think anyone was expecting a rickroll. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be some fake gameplay footage or something. There was also another small prank on the same day, but this time it was a challenge called Touchdown is Back. The entry was free and you had to get 12 wins. You had to get 12 wins. There was no losing. Unless you completed the 12 wins, you couldn't exit the challenge. Some may have missed it, but the cards won also spelled out April Fools. 2019 was probably the least exciting out of all of these. In March 29th of that year, the team announced new balance changes that were going to go live on April 1st. Now, these balance changes were not part of any joke. However, most thought it was anyways due to how bad the changes were. Supposedly, I don't know, I don't really know anything about the meta. Anyways, April 1st came and they tweeted out some last minute balance changes to a particular card, the Spear Goblin. They were increasing the goblin count by one and giving one goblin area damage. Yes, just one goblin. It appears the log with the goblin attire is the new addition to the group. Obviously, this last minute change was just a joke and not real. The actual balance changes went live that day, which ironically had more attention than the joke itself. I wouldn't say it's the worst April Fool's prank by the team, but it was definitely a downgrade for some of the previous ones. 2020 wasn't that big of a year either in terms of April Fools, but it was a little funny. First off, the team announced that they'd be removing the heal spell and replacing it with a new card, the heal spirit. Now, 
Many players took this as a joke because Supercell loves to do actual announcements on April 1st too, so... I, I guess they just leave you wondering. But it's probably because it's around the season start. Anyways, that same day we got some April special quests. Back when quests were a completely different thing. The joke here was that the quests were nearly impossible to be in the time frame they gave you, which was two days. These quests were win with heal 100 times, deal 1 million damage with P.E.K.K.A, and play Goblin Cage a thousand times. All of this for pretty lame rewards. Obviously no one was out here completing these, I mean, you probably could, I don't really know, but not for those rewards. Pretty funny though. In 2021, we saw the return of a challenge for April Fools called Totally Normal Game Mode. Now, with a name like that, it was pretty obvious it was not normal. It was 7 wins to complete with actual legit rewards, but there was a catch. Skeletons would spawn, but not normal skeletons. These were in ghost form, and you couldn't just counter them normally because it seemed nothing would get them out of ghost form. That's because they were in a permanent ghost form. You had to take them out with cards that did like spawn damage, like an electro wizard or spells like a fireball or something. They would just go to your tower and chop away and yeah, pretty much. I don't really remember playing the challenge, but overall it seemed pretty fun. The next year in 2022, they did yet another fun game mode, but a little crazier than the last. This was the random elixir mode that could be accessed in the party tab. So it wasn't a challenge, but you could still uh, earn crowns from it and have a blast. The basis of the mode was that every card that cycled in your deck had a random elixir cost. So, for example, you could have a golem for one elixir and skeletons for nine. It was completely random and actually chaotic because the match was incredibly unpredictable. This wasn't the type of party mode you'd expect to win at either. I mean, your opponent could be way better off than you in terms of elixir. Instead, it was just one of those wacky modes to f around with and have fun. So, in 2023, I wish I could say that the update for losers was the joke, but it wasn't. Although it was pretty funny seeing the memes about it being an out of season joke. Anyways, this year, although overshadowed by the update, there was a change in training camp. It appears Trainer Chatter was pumping some serious iron during that maintenance break because he was OP as sh**. <laughs> his cars were level 18 and his towers had over 14,000 HP. Now, it was possible to be him, Although pretty difficult. I mean, the troops were just meat shields. But yeah, that was the entire joke. <laughs> there was nothing you got from beating this new and improved trainer cheddar, but it was pretty fun to mess around with. And if you did manage to beat him, I mean, that was a major flex. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Clash Royale has done something every single year since launch. Whether it's a really small one like a picture, rickrolling, or wacky changes, you can always expect something. Anyways, if you haven't seen the Clash of Clans video, I highly recommend it as well. I think COC has had some interesting stuff over the years. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!